Hi YouTube, it's your girl Lovely Pamela and I'm back. Hi guys. Um, as you guys know, I showed you guys the wall when I was packing up and getting ready to move. So I've moved into the new digs. Um, they're not quite done yet, but it's to my liking. So you know, um, I ended up with a smaller dining room, a bigger living room. So yeah, I um. So I've missed you guys. I am Miss PG. I've been watching you. You don't call me. So you don't Facebook me. So I don't know how to get in touch with you. Um, I've been watching Nio 3, Platinum D, um, Kimmy 114, um, some of the other new ladies that I've subbed to and sent messages to. You know who you are. So what's up? How you guys doing? Um, I'm going to try this time to make my channel a little more personable as per se. Um... Because, like I said, I'm not going to ever leave YouTube. Like I said, I was moving and getting my health because, again, I had gotten sick. Um, and moving. And my sister came to visit. Like, that was another shock. She showed up again, you guys, twice in two years. I'm so happy. My nephew's staying with me um, for the summer. So, yeah, I'm still working hard at my job. I'm still doing hair. Um, I'm not back into the nail thing because I have to build up my nail content because I kind of let that go down the crapper. You know how that goes. Um, so, I'm going to try to come on with the at least the eyebrows and the lipstick on and the lashes on. Um, I don't know about a full face of makeup all the time because you guys know I wear full face of makeup to work. Uh... So yeah, all the new people I've subbed to, like, oh my god, you guys have the awesome videos. Like, awesome. Like, how to do different hairstyles that have already been done, but how to remix it. Um, I got this from a girl I watched on the channel last night. Um, I kind of borrowed her, bit her style. You know how that goes. But, um, I'm like loving how it came out. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's start with what I have on my brows. On my brows, I have on, uh, Giordano pencil in dark brown, number 38. I love this pencil. Okay. I love this pencil. Let me turn this away. It's absolutely gorgeous as a brown. Um... I have my trusty, like I said, this thing I last you almost two years, Glamourage as the concealer. And my Kat Von D, I use a little bit of this as, I'm sorry, Loctite as the face concealer. Um, I mixed those two together. That's what gave me this brow. And I used a stencil to use, I used a brow pencil and a stencil to create these brows. On my lips. I have on, like, my hubby got me this. He got me this matte lipstick. He got me a lot of lipstick, so we're going to get on to that, too. Um, this was $4.99. It's like a, in this flea market, it looks like a CCO, but it's not really a CCO. She just sells a lot of all the brand lipsticks and stuff. Um, she has YSL, Dior, all of that. Um, this is Shocking Pink. It's in matte. So... Yeah, ladies, we can wear shocking pink as darker sisters. I went over with the NYX doll pink. I got from my local beauty supply store. Um, Ali Beauty. It's spelled A-L-I and then beauty. It's another beauty store. It's a chain of them. It's classy girls, diamond girls, and then Ali Beauty. So, shout out to them for having some pretty good selection in there. Um... My lashes are by Cherry Blossom. They're 30s. $0.99 cent at Dolly Beauty. All his Cherry Blossom um, lashes were $0.99. Cent. These are numbers 117. So... I'm going to put those on next. I'm going to add these for about a week. And then you guys know how I do it. Peel it off. And let it do what it do. So, let's start with my faves. Okay? I just showed you three of my faves. Which was the Glamouflage. The Jordana Town Brown Pencil. 
The Gat Von, Kat Von D Lock It Tight Foundation. You don't even need anything on that but a primer. You don't even need concealer. If you want to use that as a concealer, you can. Um, I am a CG sent me this a year ago. This is Palette Makeup Set Island by Absolute 5. Um, when I put on purple, I love this palette. Other than that frost there, well, let me show you guys why. Very pigmented. I'm going to show you the light of purple. Very pigmented. Let's show you that one. Very good for highlighter. Look at that. Those are some great colors to do purple colors with. And it doesn't look like you got too much on. Like, huh. Look, they're very pigmented. Um, another one she turned me on to, I Miss PG turned me on to, is Drinking a Glass of Shine. I've been using the heck out of this, as you guys can see. I use that brown as a transition color like nobody's business. If you, if you get a chance to get Glass of Shine, go pick it up. This is one of their best palettes they ever made. Um... So those are some of my favorites. Um, I have a lip liner that's one of my favorites. I got it out of a 99 cent lipstick thing. It's just a lip liner. I think it's like a cherry cola color. I'll swatch it for you guys. Like if you want to put on a new lip but you want to have a lip color, I put brown this on my lips and call it a day. Um, so let me show you some of the goodies that I picked up. Not all the goodies, but some of the goodies. Uh, oh yeah, and this is another one of my favorites. I'm sorry. These LA Color Matte Eyeshadows are the business. When I say they are the business, they are the business. You guys can see I've been using this a lot. Let me show y'all why. Y'all see that? Look at that pigmentation. Let me show you. And this is, mind you, after I just put it on one time off my finger. And it stay on there like that all day long. Look. Still on there. You can use this as a blush. I use it as what it's made for, but you can use it as a blush. For my lighter skin sisters, this will give you a golden kiss on your cheeks. And for my darker skin sisters, our ebony sisters, this will be a great blush and a highlighter. From here to here and here to here. Perfect. It's a four-in-one thing. Um, so, yeah, that's my favorites. Um, let's talk about this hair. This hair is a combination of hair. This is a loose wave, a tight coil, and a deep wave all together. I did three different textures because, as you guys know, unless you relax your hair, your hair is in three different textures. So, I made my extensions in three different textures. Um, let me see if I can turn around in the back so you guys can see the back. I don't know if you can. Let me see if I can turn around. Okay. That's the back. It hangs to about, I'm sorry guys, to about right here. Which is a good enough length for me for right now. Y'all know, sometimes I don't want too much long hair. I'm going to do long because my husband likes long hair. You guys know that's always going to be here in this home. He likes long hair. But this is a good length for me. And he likes this texture. And I just got it, you know, a little bitty part. And I can swoop my hair. And I use a little bit of um, edge control for my edges. And let's see. And I leave my edges out. So just in case I want to pull the hair back, I can. Um... You guys are looking at the ceiling then. Um, so yeah, let's talk about what's on my nails. It's Purple Craze by LA Colors from the dollar store. This is the Crackle Polish by OPI in black. Um, this is a sinful color, color here. I think it's paparazzi and they're quite long. I'm back into the nails with the little, I made the little curve in the nail because I like my nails with a little curve. So. I made them all that way. Um, okay, this. <laughs> Guys, I haven't talked to you in so long. Um, this is what they look like uh, with the color. Excuse the flipping up and the flipping back up the phone. You know, I'm playing with the new, I'm not on the camera, I'm on the, on the phone. So, yeah. Oh, and what I use to line my lips with. 
I know you guys see that full pout. It's the NYX Pink Sands color. It looks like it's not pink. It's $1.99. Pink Sands. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And you'll see why I put it on my lip. I'm sorry. Perfect match to this lip combo I have. I'm loving these brows. I might go to bed with mom. Mm. Um, I put mousse on this. I use warm water mousse um, and an oil based product for the shine. And I, what I do is at night I wet it all at the ends and I put all the products on it. Then I put it in my satin bonnet and I moisturize it in the front to keep it from being dry because my scalp is rather dry. And that's how I do it. Um, as far as my face clearing up, I'm working on it. It's gotten a little better as you guys can see. So stay tuned if you want to see what lovely Pamela has for a haul. Bye guys.